Hey guys, how's it going? All right, welcome back to another uh, haul from Frantic Stamper. But first, I want to share with you some gorgeous Happy Mail that I got. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Like, it's raised right here. Like, it's 3D. All this is 3D. I love that. The bats are 3D. This is 3D. I love the thread behind stuff. I need to do that more. I bought some thread not long ago, and I, need, I really need to do that because I love the little effect that it adds. Um... But this card is just absolutely perfect. So it's going to be out through the um, the Halloween season for sure. But um, and maybe, I don't know. I'd like to get one of those string things in the room that you hang them on. But I don't really have the wall space to do it. So I don't know. But I'd like to have some like looped. Not looped, but like draped something. And the cards hanging. But anyway, so that's beside the point. But... I just wanted to say thank you to Tony that this is a completely, completely awesome card. You did a great job, girl. Thank you. That's my first Halloween card of the year, by the way, too. So, yay. Um, okay, so Fran got these in. This is from Creative Expressions. And this just reminded me of, um, if you can see, like, the little stitching and things. Um, just kind of like vintage Halloween stuff, like things I used to dress up as as a kid, like the little plastic witch masks and things. Um, and it just reminded me of days of old, I guess you could say. So, um, they're a little smaller. Everything in this order is a little smaller than I planned, which is, it's either super large or super small, and I never plan for either one. Um, looking at sizes, I mean, it can say 3 by 6 whatever. I, it just doesn't register with me. I just know if I like the design, and then it's sort of a surprise when I get it. I don't know. Measurements just, they're just not my thing. Um, but anyway, so this is adorable, though, and actually will work better smaller, but I just thought it was bigger, so, but it's not, it's not a bad surprise or anything. And then I got this die, Scary Greetings. Love that. This one is Ghoulish Greetings. Same company. They put out some really cool stuff. Haunted Wishes. Um, this, again, was way smaller. I thought this would make a way bigger wreath. But I just love that you can make a Halloween wreath. You know what I'm saying? And these corners are already awesome all on their own. Um, plus, I love the jack-o'-lanterns with the scary faces. So, there's that. It's just called Build a Wreath. Um, and this one is called Halloween Patch, which goes quite well with this because of the, like, the sewing factor, you know. So you've got buttons and needles and little stitches and, um, Happy Halloween, Pumpkin Patch, Trick or Treat, or Treat or Treat. Oh, <laughs> well, yay. That's me. You know, don't worry about the tricks. Just give me some treats. Uh, Lucky Black Cat, Scaredy Cat, boo. And then this is, what, Best best friend edge or something who knows i don't know what that says but it's a button uh and then the same company makes this it's called poisonous potions so we've got some toe of frog dusty web venom i uh, love the little witch here eyeball juice i love anything to do with eyeballs it's so hard to find good eyeball stuff um handle with care nice little cauldron poison nice little book of shadows or something there uh, warning, danger, some lightning bolts, yeah. and that is a clear stamp as well. So the other day, I totally thought I had this, but I had similar colors, just not these. So these are the uh, Distress Mica Stains, but you would be surprised in looking at them, but yet they're, they're different colors, but online they look very similar. So I got the wrong thing. But um, Hocus Pocus, uh, Crooked Broomstick, and Bubbling Cauldron. So happy to have those. I'm really, really liking these lately. I did not, at first I just didn't, I don't know, I didn't get it. But now I really do like them. So I use them a lot. I can see using them a lot, not just like, and none of these, they're not just Halloween colors. Like I can use that for pretty much anything. You know, I feel like anyway. Alright, this is from Pink Fresh Studios. It's just little flat back pearls, and this is metallic pearls in matte gold. Okay. And then I got another pack of these because I just fell in love with those. And then I went ahead and picked up this Picket Fence Studios um, 
creepy hollow lantern die. I really like that. That's really cute. So I know what I was saying the other day <laughs> about um, not shopping and because I'm not going to have time to use much Halloween and all that and it's really busy this season and it is and I'm not and I, that, all that's true. However, just don't listen to what I say. I don't know. I'm, I'm just talking out of my mind when I say I'm not going to be ordering much. Um, I do think it's a good idea to like wait until Black Friday and things like that and get 20% off and different things and I do have a list of things for that but um but yeah but some of these I just really really wanted and Halloween just takes over my brain and then I can't function anymore like something happens to me so I just yeah I did it <laughs> can't help myself so and I watched Tim Holtz um his live this Saturday and I didn't even want I only wanted like two stamps of that release now I want several more um Pink Ink Designs has some really new cool stuff. I heard Lavinia Stamps is coming out with stuff September the 1st, their Halloween release. What else is going on? Honey Bee just came out with a great fall release. I want some of that stuff. So some of that is going to have to go on uh, the Black Friday shopping list. But, um, and it's smarter because, like I said, I'm not going to have time to use it. But some of the things, no, I just could not wait. So, um all right, so this one is, these are all the um, new All and Create stamp sets. This is 1057, and it's called Mrs. Squeak. Um, so you got the witchy here, and you've got a nice little, um, see the crow, how's that? What is that? Is it sitting on something? I see it's sitting on the, on the skull, but is that like... Maybe that goes on top of the house or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, cute little mailbox, a kitty, a light, all the good stuff here. So those are all clear stamps. Then we've got number uh, 1058 called The Last Word. And so you've just got some nice headstones. I was hoping for a pyramid. <laughs> I told you I was sick. I knew that uh, guillotine was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I love the candle. That's really why I got it, it was the candle in the book. So that's gorgeous. And I just feel like, I don't know, I mean, I like that for any time of year, but maybe that's just me. This is 1056, um, and we've got, like, some party banners here. Uh, this just reminds me, like, of growing up again, kind of like that first stuff, the stitching things, just older vintage-like stuff. Um, some nice little potion bottles. This is nice little trees and corn for corners of cards. You know, sometimes you just need a little... A little something and of course the haunted tree is also nice um and then we've got this i feel like that could almost be a sucker for some reason but i guess it's like more like a thing in the yard um so crows here owls this well, you can kind of create nice scenes with so you can put those on each side like you're entering the magical realm of halloween i guess um i like all the faces of the pumpkins i don't know if you can see that detail but they're pretty cool and then she is very cute um 1054 called miss miss bubbles oh what a great name um so very uh in now kind of cauldron here not the cauldron of old right um she's an, a, a new new witch um and then lots of cool little spell bottles and things a nice witch's hat here and a little tiny witch, a nice little ghost, extra brooms, just things. Um, 1053 is all in create, and it's called House of Faces. Um, I just really like the house, right? Again, the entrance gates, brooms, you got all your little extra accessories here. This is a house as well, but it's a little bit different, and it comes with different stuff. Um, I really liked both of these. On the sides I could have lived with just one house because they're quite similar I mean if you look at them um, but yeah but the things that they come with <laughs> are not so uh, this one's called Howler's house and that one was house of faces so yeah anyway and then um, I did cross over into the winter realm of stuff um, and I picked up this who's this from called Yuletide Greetings from Cat 
Cat and Crafts. I don't know. K K K A T K I N K R A F T S dot C O dot U K. Okay. So anyway, um, I just really liked this guy here, and y'all know I have a thing for um, for deer, for reindeers, for just things. Um, so and the rest of it's nice too. What's that say? Believe in the magic of Christmas. A nice little shooting star. Some bells. Um, she's kind of holding her hands up. I feel like she's going to be sending him some um, nice winter energy. Like, you know, maybe she's doing some Reiki. Maybe she's making him feel better. I don't know. But anyway, um, some nice little stars, some whatever. So that is my haul for today. Um, I, like I said, I... <laughs> gonna really be focusing what I really really want especially from honeybee stamps because I really want some of that it's more fall straight up fall so I feel like I could stretch that I don't know I don't know but I want it now because I'm afraid it will sell out stretch it into November or something but um we'll see we'll see what's released and we'll just go from there pick and choose right um but this is my favorite shopping season and I do love it and all that good stuff. So hopefully all the winter stuff, like your Christmas stuff, your Valentine's Day, even, you know, even like St. Patrick's Day, whatever. I'm not really, I like it, you know, it's, it's cute, but I don't just, I'm not like ugh, biting my fingernails. Like I have to have this, I have to have this, um, like I do with the, uh, early fall stuff that comes out. So there's that and that'll be better on my shopping budget, but, um, yeah, and once no, once spring hits, I like some spring stuff, so we'll have to, you know, hold the reins on that to cover all this. But um, but I'm really excited, and I plan on keeping the Creepy 13 um, collab going for 2024. So I'll put up an official thing, like, at the end of December or something so that you guys can sign up. But, um I definitely plan on doing that, so I feel like I'll be making Halloween cards all year, so it's okay with me. <laughs> Alright, so I'll talk to you guys later. Um, let me know what your favorite Halloween things on the market are, or if you even do Halloween. Um, what are some of your, your favorite companies? What do they come out with? What's on your wish list? All that good stuff. So, alright guys, I will talk to you later. Bye, y'all.